Well, music is just one of the special events planned for the upcoming Transport for Christ Banquet. It's set for the 21st of this month, and if you've not reserved your place yet, you definitely want to learn more about an incredible ministry nestled in Beaver Dam, making an impact for Christ all across the country. Andy has more. Tucked in the back corner of the pilot truck stop in Beaver Dam is a special semi-truck inviting people inside. It's the Transport for Christ Second Chance Chapel with a special mission to reach out to any truck driver no matter where they are in life. There's a, there's a lot of stuff out there that's, that's not real good, you know, a lot of temptation. So it's a good safe place for them to come. Uh, like I say, a place uh, that they can have Christian fellowship. Yes, this is a safe place for Christian fellowship, staffed by volunteer chaplains seven days a week. The Transport for Christ is frequented by Christian truck drivers. They are one of three types of people who regularly walk through this door. The second group, those needing a listening ear. So many drivers are away from family and friends for weeks on end, so this place can be a respite. And then there's the third group. There's someone who realizes uh, that they need something in their life. They need Christ in their life. And, and that those are the ones that come to us that, uh, that we're really here for. I mean, we're here for all of them, but we love, we love when that happens. And it's so neat at, uh, all at the holidays how uh, different drivers will text you and, and tell you how much, you know, the chapel means to them. The Transport for Christ offers drivers consistency, and in some ways it serves as Sunday church. Yes, we have service at 11 and then 7, and we would do anything through the week if a driver would come in and want to do a Bible study or anything like this, we could do that, or whatever they'd like to you know, do. And then in the uh, summertime, we was uh, given a golf cart, and we'd go around the parking lot here and uh, actually... Uh, pick the guys up that are way out there and they'll say, why do you want to do this? Well, you got to start someplace. Currently efforts are underway to put a second chapel across the street at the Flying J truck stop. And if God opens that door, studies indicate good things are sure to come. And, and they found at the truck stops where a chapel is located, there is less problems out there with the drugs, uh, prostitution, uh, that type of stuff. The Transport for Christ Second Chance Chapel in Beaver Dam run by volunteers and in just a few weeks the public has the chance to not only support those involved with this ministry but also to sow into it financially. Uh, February 21st we're going to have a banquet up at uh, Bluffton University Marbeck Center and we're bringing the Pifers back again and they were very well accepted last year. In fact we got a whole new bunch of people wanting to come this year that didn't get to come last year. And uh, we're excited because uh, we see God working. That Second Chance Chapel Banquet, which is the ministry's annual fundraising banquet, is free to attend. However, a free will offering will be collected. Great opportunity there. Luganville says Transport for Christ is hoping that a second chapel service in Beaver Dam, Second Chapel, this one at the Fly and J truck stop just across the street. Very cool. What a great ministry. That annual banquet takes place at the Marbeck Center at Bluffton University. Mm. Again, it's February 21st, 6.30 p.m. is the start time. The Pifers will offer the musical entertainment for the night. I've heard great things about them. Yeah. Called 419-230-3294 to reserve your place and show your support for Transport for Christ in this region. We love that. Mm.